What cringe thing that you did in your lifetime keeps you up at night? My crush came to my house to do a high school project. It involved the internet, and while she sat next to me, she tried to navigate to Google on my computer. Unfortunately, the address bar auto-filled and took her to my last Google search, page 2 of results for her name. Every link had been clicked. We both just sat in silence. In an attempt to be less awkward and trying to take more time to think before I speak, this backfired in a big way in December. I ran into a cousin who I hadn't seen for a few years. He said hello, and I was trying to think of a greeting, since it was just about Christmas. I thought I would say season's greetings or something, but then I realized that might be a bit lame. So while I'm internalizing this in my head and basically just staring at the guy, who is probably thinking I don't recognize him so now I begin to panic. Now I will need to include his name in this greeting, so he doesn't think him rude. It's been a long time, I still haven't said anything. It feels like the most time ever since anyone has ever talked. So in my head I'm like okay say something. Anything has got to be better than this. But in my panic all words leave my brain. And what comes out is. Congratulations. Joshua. I was very shy growing up. And had trouble carrying a conversation. Writing was a strength though. So I decided to hand write a note to the girl I had a crush on. And put it in her locker cringe by itself. To my surprise. She came up and started talking to me the next day after school. I had imagined her most likely ignoring my letter, or if anything writing back. I was so extremely flustered all I could focus on was a smile and the heat of my full face blush. She finished what she had to say and walked away. Then, to my horror, I realized I had no idea what she said. Decided to hand write a note to the girl I had a crush on this is literally how I confessed to every boy I liked. They usually went ignored. One guy looked me up and down and laughed in my face saying you must be kidding me. The last guy turned me down by writing a really nice note back saying that I was a wonderful and smart person, but just not for him. We remained very good friends through the rest of high school. Gonna use a throw away for this one because it literally still makes me cringe really hard and the people involved probably don't know or they're so kind that they pretend not to. I moved to a different city when I was in 9th grade and would mostly keep in touch with my classmates on Yahoo chats yeah, I mentioned. I was a shy kid and wasn't adjusting super well in the new school, but my old friends kept asking about my new friends, so I invented one. His name was Chris, I think, and he was Australian, and no I didn't know of Chris Hemsworth at the time. I gave him his own Yahoo chat ID and everything, made him talk to my friends. He got particularly close to one of my female friends. She ended up telling me she had a crush on him. This was messed up because a Chris didn't exist, so she technically had a crush on me I think. B one of my other friends had a major crush on her and this imaginary Chris was now messing up his chances. I went into panic mode and ended up having Chris move back to Australia and stop using his account. I did not plan that well, and my friends probably know it was me, and didn't want to embarrass me with a confrontation, bless them. It's been over a decade, and I still physically cringe, when I think of that time. The two friends of mine did end up dating, and were together for a couple of years. I'm still in touch with those guys. I had a massive inappropriate crush on my married math teacher in middle school. The poor man was clearly, not at all endeared by it. Puberty was very cruel to me, and I was not cute. On the last day of school, I was too shy to approach him to sign my yearbook, so I had my friends do it. He signed it, and suddenly that's when I worked up the courage to go ask him myself. He awkwardly signed it a second time, and didn't say a word to me. Yeah something tells me that him not being into it had nothing to do with puberty not being kind to you it isn't to a lot of us and everything to do with the fact that most normal, well adjusted adults aren't interested in banging teenagers, I hope. You're right, that is the more logical aspect, but my glasses plus braces and emo face did not help. Bonus cringe, very same said teacher once reprimanded me for breaking the dress code and sent me to the nurse to change because I wore those big baggy hot topic chain pants to school. I lied to my counselors about getting into a certain pre-med program that apparently was a much bigger deal than I thought it was right before leaving for college. I had gotten into a pre-med program 
but when asked on the spot I couldn't recall, and I just agreed to whatever name was thrown out for it. They got super excited and congratulated me, and I assumed that would be the end of it. Well. They made a huge announcement the next day over the PA system of the school congratulating me, and even gave me a certificate, and took pictures shaking my hand. Teachers were congratulating me all day and I even started getting special treatment. I'm sure they eventually found our, after I left there, and I've been too embarrassed to even visit my old high school. In 3rd and 4th grade, I legit thought I was a cat. Like legit. I hissed, meowed, and scratched at people. And I also licked myself. Not like full on bathing, but like my hands and stuff. Ooh. And I always told people that I was a cat on the inside. I cringe so hard at this now. Was in a taxi back from town with my wife and some friends. And started to discuss my other friend's new girlfriend. Everyone saying how nice she was and really sweeted. Then for some reason I come out with yeah. And she's got them to gold bits nobody spoke for the rest of the journey. Wife was pretty angry. Oh boy. Here we go. I never spoke about this to anyone before. My husband, at the time boyfriend, and I started dating when I was 13. I was 14 at the time of this story. So I'm at his house having dinner with his parents and somehow the subject of, how would you like to die, came up. Without thinking I blurted out that I wanted to be murdered. I had an obsession at the time with ghosts and the paranormal. And I though the only way to become one was to be murdered. I'm 24 and still cringe. So hard late at night when this randomly pops into my head. I was at a store and had a few things in my hand. A girl who works there walked up and asked if I need a basket. I quickly said, nah I got two hands. I'm good. As she turned to walk away, I noticed she was missing one hand. That was 10 years ago and I still feel it. Alrith so back in 8th grade we had German lessons, I was okay friends with the teacher and, right when he was done with giving us a task to do for ourselves I half jokingly asked him in what I thought was somewhat privacy between us why is an old Schwarzenegger named Schwarz as in black and Negger as in, yay. I looked around in the class and everyone was just looking at me in silence until my teacher just said something along the lines of I don't know man. This was like in the second grade, and my class was in the computer lab. We were in there doing the usual computer lab stuff, when suddenly I needed to go to the bathroom. My teachers were busy talking, and couldn't see me raising my hand, to go to the bathroom. Being the shy person, that I was and I stayed in my chair, and didn't do anything to get her attention. I must have been raising my hand for like 10 minutes. So I stayed like that raising my hand, until I just couldn't hold it, and peed my pants. Now my teachers were paying attention, but was already too late. When I was 16 I had this huge crush on this girl, who hung out with a popular crowd. I was texting her one day, and out of the blue she sends me a message, that said are you DTF? I typed her out this huge message that said I really liked her, was currently on ecstasy, and was ready, if she thought she was. Turns out she was hanging out with a big group of friends, and knowing she was talking to me, one of the guys took her phone, and sent me that. Pretty sure they all saw it. Cue the most awkward years of my life as I die inside for good. Was on a school trip to Europe London, and got into an elevator in my hotel. Another family came in, and I pressed the button. The elevator didn't move. Turns out I pressed the current floor button. I then proceeded to, for some reason fake a British accent and poorly to say I am such an idiot. When I was around 10 to 12 I got into some sort of argument with my sister inside the grocery store. It quieted down for a little bit, and I heard her say something I apparently didn't like, so I repeated it in a very loud sarcastic tone. Little did I know, my sister walked to some other section of the store when I wasn't paying attention. Sorry random lady talking on the phone. When I was like in 5th grade I had a crush on this boy, who was definitely more popular than me, but I still tried talking to him and whatnot. He had a Purdue sweatshirt, that he always wore, and when he wasn't wearing it, it was in his locker. I got the bright idea that, if he saw me wearing his sweatshirt head like me. So what did I do? I broke into his locker, took his sweatshirt, and wore it to class. Once he saw I had his sweatshirt on, in front of everyone. He said did you break into my locker? What the heck then told me to give it back. I was so embarrassed and had to take his sweatshirt of in front of everyone. 
and give it back. I still cringe about it. Probably when I was 14, when I wrote a love letter on Valentine's Day to my crush point already a bad idea I wrote it during lunch and even got a friend girl to help me write some lines. Worst part was I included my name right on the bottom. I slipped the letter under her desk and was anxious the entire day. Come the end of the day, I had art class with her and I left before her. To my horror, after my club meeting, I learned through some guys in my class that she had read the letter and given the letter to our art teacher. She did it in front of everyone else in my class and she read a part of it to the class. I die a little every time I think about it. I don't know if it helps or not. My art teacher said I was a gentleman and I thought I wouldn't live it down. A girl showed me an achievement she did in a game like being the MVP as a support medic or something over a dinner table with her family and mine on either side. Instead of complimenting her or giving her a thumbs up, I made a V sign. I have no idea what prompted me to do that as opposed to a thumbs up congratulations. I spent the rest of the dinner staring at my hand in betrayal. It was a time when I was a kid when our class president made an announcement that our classmate's mother has a stage 3 cancer and I suddenly shouted congrats and everyone is staring at me and I was oblivious why this happened because I have zero idea about cancer and its stages and I thought the announcement was about winning a contest because it mentions a stage yes, cringe for life for me, colon, 